All right, jumping back into some more Mega Aquarium, y'all. Howdy, howdy, howdy. All right, let's, uh, you can be a fixer. So, this tank. How are we looking on maximum size, right? I always have to try and keep in mind how big are these things going to get, right? So you're going to eventually grow, um, right? What does it not show? Okay, you will eventually get to size nine. So that's going to add four. We have two eels who are each going to eventually grow to size nine. Um, so that'll add 10. So we're adding 14. These guys grow? They do. They'll each grow to size nine. So we have seven of them growing to size nine. That's five more. So seven is 35. So we have 49 that we're going to be adding to this. So that'll put us up at like 90, 90 even, if I did the math correctly. So we have 22 space left in this tank. Something to consider going forward, especially for those quests that we got. Um, okay, keep the time going. Let's go ahead and hit that. Now, we just got a big chunk of money, and we're going to get another big chunk of money because we made the uh, lionfish tank ahead of time. This tank actually does have a good amount of space left. Um, these guys, though, they don't do well with other non-lionfish, right? So let's just add more lionfish to the tank. All right? They need more cave space, maybe. So let's think about getting another cave or two in here. This has 8 cave. This has 12 cave. They take up the same space, so honestly, pitted columns are the way to go. They're a 2 by 2 and they add so much cave space. Um, so let's get a couple more of these dudes, right? Wait, what? What just happened? Did that just reset me on this? Oh, the water quality went down. Uh, that's fine. Um, we can totally deal with that. Uh, now that should be good. Now, uh, as far as dealing with that water quality, there's a couple different ways we could do that. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to just use a pump. Because we got the space over here, and this space ain't going to be used for much else anyways, right? Get one of those. One of those. Nice. Okay. Leave that going. Hit the X. Now it'll just get us more science points is basically what I was thinking, right? Some of them might not grow to full size because of the size of the tank. I don't know how much they grow, um, but that's fine. Do they grow even? No, they don't. Those ones don't at least. These ones? These ones do grow. So some of them won't grow to full size, and that's okay. Uh, we're able to watch the lionfish. Perfect. Clear all that. That's huge. Uh, as far as for this tank, I think I will add a couple more eels. Uh, we'll add one more eel. We'll add one more eel. Because I forgot, like, they, they will grow. And we'll add a bunch of space there. Okay. As far as the food is concerned, I might get myself, just in case, let's get another thing of mussels because of how many fish here need mussels. Um, we will also get another tool station over here because we're going to turn this into another staff door. Now we got four grants. So we can easily make another tank. Now, if we're having people walk through this way, right? You know me. I like to make it so that, like, you're kind of walking through and it's just like you, you just, there's fish everywhere, right? There's fish everywhere. Um, people over here need a toilet, huh? Well, that's fine because we got all this empty space that I'm using as essentially staff zoning. So let's go ahead and get y'all a toilet here. How's that sound, people? Perfect. Um, and I'm going to even do something wacky. I'm going to add a uh, staff door in here. Even though right now there's not any like staff space here, right? No utilized staff space. I like the idea of the staff being able to get pretty much everywhere. Um, so we'll do that. Now, if I want to continue stuff down this way, I can totally just continue this wall. Wall off another chunk. Let's do another walled tank. I also kind of want to do the... Um, What's that new tank called? Big fancy, big, big fancy. This guy, Belfast. Belfast tank. I'll show you guys kind of shape wise. I don't have space for it, but look at that. That's gonna cost me three grand. But we wanna make sure that we put something real nice in there, right? So I'd love it if we could get this guy coming. This uh, shark, that'd be really cool. This boy would go really well with the shark too, I think. What's he in danger? I mean, eat or damage crustaceans, that's it. He's not gonna eat other fish. So he's going to work fine with any, like, other basic fish. This guy, I think he's going to work well with any other basic fish, too. So I'd love to get both of them in that tank. So we'll think about that for that tank. So what fish do we have that are un that are not represented? These guys are not represented. Um, y'all two are not represented. We could put y'all. Oh, no, you are. You are not, though. Do we have three green eaters that we could throw together? 
for the green quest. We can get one more of you. That's one. We get one of you. That's two. We can get one of you. That's three. If we can get all three of them in a tank, that'll work. Um, now, for the three of y'all, could we also squeeze in these little guys? I think we could. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So we'll do another tank right here. Um, and that'll be that tank. I'm just trying to look at the layout right now. Get a view of it. Look, oh, I love this kind of view, right? I'm just trying to think about, like... So if they're walking through, right, they're going to come down this way. We can sort of have them kind of just go straight down this way. We could keep this stage as a space that they walk across and then have like a tank here, have maybe the Belfast tank here. No, because we don't want them seeing the interior of this stuff, but uh, we could have another tank here, right? That could work. So the only, this space may be a workspace for one tank right here and then we'll have another tank here so you'll walk through this corridor you'll have a tank here we'll continue this wall down like this yeah let's do that so let's go ahead and start working with that it's like that right that makes sense and so then we're using the um existing stage here actually let's just Cause there, isn't there something cool about that idea of like taking existing space and like using it as is like that? Oh, you know, you know what? Even better. Take it from here like that and do it like this. And actually it's gonna be more like for right now, at least it's gonna be like this, right? It's like this. Okay, and then let's start bulldozing a couple of random things. Design-wise, let's go ahead and grab... Um, where's the decoration stuff? Is it in here? Yeah. Let's grab this shipwreck paint and let's... Oh, it's not shipwreck. It's... Uh, harbor side? Harbor side. Clean up this, the sand just a little bit because it's a little tacky like that. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll lead people through here, through this spot. That'll be where they'll get to here, right? So it'll eventually be kind of something like this, and they'll walk through that. So there'll be an arrow that'll point them that way. We may even like knock out three of these. They'll walk through here. I might put a little more sand in this corner design wise, you know, really make it clear. You're moving into the next area, right? Um, so we'll do a little bit of that. Okay. Uh, so they'll come through here. And then this will be like, yeah, like I said, we'll have a tank here. That'll be kind of neat. It's like the existing stage space. Maybe we'll put another tank back here. Okay. So then, right now, because this space is like all wide open and silly, here's what we're going to do. Take a couple of these to sit down with. And we now have access to the guidebooks, right? So let's put down... A guidebook shelf and we can even do the same like here and we'll grab a couple of guidebook uh, refillers and that'll be that let's hire as well you've got we got only one guy with gift shop all right so it's gonna be you cool uh, a lot of people want food, a lot of people want other stuff, but I think they've got access, right? I can maybe use some more. Yeah, let's get some more. So let's get um, another drink machine. Let's get another uh, chocolate vending machine. We're really using this interior as like the where the stuff people buy is and the exterior as like the here's where you can see things area, which I kind of dig. All right, so because we're going to do what I had said we're going to do over here, we're going to move these things just a little bit away. For a second, we're gonna open up this space a little bit like that. Okay, and so now we're gonna put another tank. Racha. Now this tank doesn't have to be necessarily full sized, right? Oh, you know what? We could even put a corner tank because if I'm gonna have them come this way, if I go knock those out, and we have a corner tank here. 
then they can kind of like walk in like at a little angle like that, right? Like a little meow into there. So maybe we'll do that. So let's see what that'll look like space-wise. Because a corner tank, more surface area means more viewage. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's like the exact size I wanted. Um, okay. So, again, we're going to do what I did last time. Let's get the tank ready before putting it into observation. Just like that. Oh, beautiful. So then, it's going to be a warm tank. Let's get a little more space. A little more space. I'm okay spending extra money to give myself some more wiggle room. Uh, yes, it'll be something like, it'll be right there, right? So we have this only only this very small corridor, though, which makes it difficult in terms of, like, the amount of surface area to put stuff on. So I'll have to use a pump. I'm okay with that, though. So we will use a pump. Um, so we'll get a large pump. Why not? I know that a power pump can actually hit multiples. Like, I could get two or three. I could get two on the same one, right? I don't need to. But we will do it like this. Uh... Down here, like that, just to help with the um, organization purposes. All right, and we need to get some more money. So we're going to work on that for a little bit. Just like this. Uh, just like that, yep. Just like that. Should be enough heat, I think. It's at 180 of 100, it's at 100%, it's got 90 and 90, so it should be good. Okay, so then, what are these fish all going to need inside? Because we're going to go, oh, that's right, I can take money, right? Because I'm going to do the thing, right? So we want, we've done this one, but what we wanted to do was the herbivores, right? Three different green pellet eaters, different plants, sufficient water quality, sufficient eating. That, that's what we're doing, right? So let's go ahead and grab that. So um, let's grab, because we're putting you you and you all in this tank right all three of y'all you should be compatible i think i hope cannot be housed with another one of itself cannot be housed with another one of itself and then you guys can be with as many as you want i mean lots of plants 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 okay so it's gonna be a very plantful spot it's all it'll be plantable <laughs> i'm so silly uh okay i'm just being a goof Okay, let's grab a little more of that eelgrass. Again, like, it's not the most optimal, the eelgrass. I think that this stuff, yeah, gives you plus four. But I kind of like it just for variability, you know? Something like that. That looks good. Okay. Um, let's think about this. We're going to need more green feeders for sure, like food-wise. Let's get some green pellets. That'll be very close by. Um, yeah. So then let's go ahead and let's get some fish. You don't need caves. You don't need anything else. No, they should be good. And we got plenty of money. So we are going to bulldoze open this space. I'm gonna move you in. Just like that. And we're going to even do a little bit of this action for right now. And we'll even do this for right now. So people will be... Oh, actually, no, it's going to be more like that. So people will be able to now come in here. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to knock out that hole. Uh, so they can walk all around here, right? They won't see the uh, interior, because that's something that bugs them. We'll get you. We'll get you. And actually, let's move those to right here. Um, and we'll put another staff door over here as well. Make it as easy as possible to get access to here. Like, I, there, I don't see any negatives to having tons and tons of staff doors. The quicker your staff can move around, the better they can do their jobs, right? Uh, you need to attach to this, for sure. And let's start getting some fish in there. So, first thing, we want one of you. Second thing, we want one of you. So far, so good. Third thing, we want one of you. Have I made any mistakes? I have not. We just got our money. That's wonderful. Um, let's get... Okay, so let's let that be for a second. 
Looks good. Staff needs to feed them, but that's good. And look how many more points we're getting now. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to get us our shark a lot faster. Oh, I'm stoked on that. Yeah, let's check out this tank. How y'all doing? Oh, we're looking great. And honestly, oh, yeah, improve your uh, fixing for sure. Um, once we get this guy, actually, he's a big boy. He's going to need some rocks. But he'll totally work in this tank. Right? Why not, right? I mean, we could put a shark in another tank too, right? But, like, why not put one in here to start with? Because he's about to get... We're about to get him. How much space has this got? It's 41? Like, I can't see why not, is what I'm thinking. Like, we'll already have a tank for it. And we can just have another tank with them in there. But this way, we're going ahead and getting it kind of in process. Is this out of guidebook refill? Wow. Um, so next up, I want to get both of these boys. Both of those boys. Let's get you. All right. Along with... Okay, so they need... Just unlock the epaulette shark. Along with all other sharks, the epaulette needs a supplement to stay healthy. Um, this supplement needs to be fed in addition to normal food every few days to ensure you have a supplement case in your cabinet. Finally, feeding supplements is skill for work and will take a lot longer for staff with a low feeding skill. No problem. Awesome. So we've got these sharks. Let's buy. We got 60 space in here. Let's get two sharks. Right? Like, why not? Right? We need some rocks. That could be why not. This thing adds eight rocks, but we don't have enough space for that. How much space do I have in the tank for rocks? Like, I could, I could probably get just enough rocks. There we go. These each only add one rock. Are you kidding me with that? My goodness. All right, so we need some sand eels. Easy peasy. And we need some supplements. Supplements. Got it. Cool. We good? Yeah, get good at feeding because you're the one who's going to be feeding these ones. Uh, one thing that I never do, and I think I've talked about this before, I never set up... Um, what do you call them? I never set up the things where, like, you have, like, the different zones or anything like that. I just let my people run around and figure it out. Seems to work just fine for me. Um, okay. So next up, what are we going to do? Well, last spot we could do over here could be we could do a tank here if we really want to. Um, and then we want to do a tank over here. I do want to create an area where we're going to have the big old Belfast tank. So part of me is wondering if maybe we don't want to use this space like I was thinking before. But instead, we put, like, a big old Belfast tank like over here for them to check out. It's a tricky, it's a tricky one. Have we literally researched everything? We have everything we can for right now. We need to get some more prestige. Um, and then we'll unlock a bunch of stuff. So what other fishies do I have? And what do I not have represented? What is, what is not in one of my tanks? We don't have a cold tank yet with the Atlantic Pollux. Um, is that it? And we don't have Royal Grandmas. Can we squeeze them in here? Will they be okay in here? I don't think there are any, that anything in here is dangerous. They just need orange food. Yeah, let's do that. I, and I'm only doing it just because of the variety, right? Because we need a bunch of different types of animals. Um, orange pellets. I know we already have a bunch of orange pellets elsewhere, but definitely need it here. Okay, cool. And let's hire a little bit more staff. We have a little money that we're sitting on. You're double good feeding and fixing. We'll take that. And you can clean real well. Okay, cool. Um, so, let's think. Let's think. How do we want to do this? Yeah, I really am thinking, like, let's... Oh! Quality over here is suffering, which is... Fine. We can deal with it. Let's move these things again. Yeah, and we will put the protein skimmer here. Good. Yeah. And you know what? Just in anticipation, we'll move that food to right there. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, so we're thinking tank here, 
and let's do what I was thinking before. So what we're gonna do is we're actually, I might cut this space out and we'll kind of do like a little bit of the this stuff and then we'll build the um, Belfast tank right there. Um, I think that'll be kind of neat. So, what do we just get? Guess what, large animals, fully grown unicorn surgeon fish, fully grown epaulette shark, fully grown ball and rasa. So once we have all three of those, we can do that. We do not have all three of those types of fish yet though. Shoulders, do I have three different types of shoulders that can go in a single tank together? What do I have in terms of shoulders? We have these guys, they don't really have any problems. We have these guys, they don't really have any problems. I don't think I have any other shoulders, which makes me think then that the other shoulders that I could get were from that other mission, this one. I need a coral grouper fully grown and a longhorn crown, uh, cowfish fully grown, and we'll get these. Are these shoulders? Yes, they are. They don't like other fish that eat purple. Do any of y'all eat purple? No. No. So they should all three go together, so I could probably complete that quest if I got these guys. Is that worth it? It's five grand. Yeah, that's worth it. I think we make a tiny tank for that, honestly. Maybe that'll be what we do over here. Yeah, let's do that. So, what I'll be doing is I'll be getting rid of my grouper, and I'll be getting rid of one of these little guys. And that's fine, because then I can just throw another grouper in there immediately. Um, so let's get the tank set first. So what we'll do is we will do a wall tank. Okay, a uh, deep wall tank. Always deep, like I have no, I do not see any reason to not do deep tanks. We'll do it kind of a smaller one, kind of like this. Tank with 80 depth, that should be enough for those little guys, right? Even 64 should be enough for all of them, right? How big are the ones that we're getting? And how many of them do we need? They're size three, you need seven of them. And we get seven. So seven times three, 21. Um, and then as far as these other ones, these, these boys are tiny, three times four, 12. Uh, so 21 and 12, we're at 30, um, oh gosh, 33, sorry. Uh, Forgot the numbers for a second. And then four times four, 16. Um, so yeah, a small tank like that would be fine with all of them, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take the money. Um, let's build the tank. So we'll do like a 64 size tank. That need to be observer, just to be a deep wall. Or an 80. I mean, that, that right there, that's enough. Okay, so. We got plenty of money. We're going to be able to do this all right now, so let's just do it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, wrong thing. X. One, two, three, four. And for ease. Okay, let's get... Um, we're gonna need and honestly if I can keep most of it over here then I'll give myself space over here to do the tank that we want to do out here so we need heater for sure Ooh, are they all oh gosh just had a thought you're a warm fish you're a warm fish um, is the one we're getting a warm fish yes okay good uh, all right then quality skimmer filter we will put our access right here. And then we can just, you know, get all the food around here. Right? I could even put some along here if we needed to. Um, okay. Then what do we need? Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's get the uh, these little guys. They are going to need nothing. They're fine. Um, so what I need to do is I need to go and grab from this tank, tank three. We want to M, move here and M move here and there we go so then it's all about dropping these sweet little ones down here okay and then we want to grab a new coral grouper and we'll we'll let the coral grouper grow and we'll see because I think the uh, these guys are stunted while they've been waiting on the other, one of these big boys. So we'll see if um, maybe that'll allow them to grow. Um, let's get, what is this? Krill. And these boys don't like it if you compete with them with Krill. But the thing is, doesn't matter. We're good on that. 
Um, so we got those. And then we want one, two, three, four. And then we want squirrel fish, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, cool, we got the shoulders exhibit. Man, you don't even have to make it work for a lot of these. But we need um, pitted columns for those little boys. They're good to go. Um, so then let's kind of do a little bit of making it nice around here, you know? Maybe add a little log. And then, do we have any of the stuff still lying around from this stuff? No, we got most of it already out there. Um, just put that out there. Why not? Right? Why not? Prestige. Um, let's then go to decorations, because we can totally throw in, I don't know, let's throw in treasure chests. Why not? Again, treasure chests, fish in real life would totally use that as a little place to live in. We're at 41 of 64 in terms of space, so we could add a couple more of any of the different types of fish, but they should all be good to go. We have orange pellets. We do. Because we have so many fish over here that eat orange pellets, I am going to get a second set. I just always worry that I might run out uh, during the day. Okay, in terms of quests now, they want the large animals, but we're waiting on research. Everything else we've covered. So the Belfast tank is the one that I want to work on next, right? And that's going to be a pretty big undertaking. Let's go ahead and let's um, let's build out the space. Let's get a lot of space. Um, and so let's think about how I'm going to design this real quick. Let's let, let the time run by. I need to stop pausing time for too long because I just need them to be getting me money, right? Okay, we got the new unicorn surgeon fish. Awesome. Uh, and so next we will get the ball and rasa. So we can finally make a cold tank, and we'll do that with Ball and Rasas and the Atlantic Pollocks, and that'll be cool. Um, so let's think about this Belfast tank. First things first, let's buy this gosh darn thing. It's gonna be friggin' huge. Okay, so now, with that determined, what are we gonna do? Like, how are we gonna um, build a space around this, right? So this can just be, like, out and about, just like this. I think this is a good spot for it. Uh, we'll move that little uh, bench. So it'll be like right about here. Okay. So we'll kind of mess with all this. We'll kind of build the exhibit around it, right? So then it looks like we'll probably have another tank over here, another tank below us. Um, our whole setup is really unidirectional. So I bet our visibility is really low on these later tanks, which is a bit of a problem. Right? What's my visibility looking like? 134 at the back. Oh, no, actually, they're, they're doing a good job of making it all the way down, strangely enough. That's great. I was worried that my issue was going to be I was going to need to start setting up arrows and, and make a loop. Um, but we don't really have a loopable space at the moment. But this looks like this will work out just fine. So we can either do it long ways, right, like this. Or I can do it like this, right? So it could take up like a space maybe like like this. If we do that, hmm, no, I like I like it being long ways like this, honestly. Somewhere up in here, um, and then we can put the thing on the side, the um, stairs on the side. That's fine. This is going to be a warm tank because we have lots more warm fish access than we do cold access. Let's go ahead because we know we're going to need to pump this sucker because um, it's it's going to need so much, uh, and it's going to be out and about. We're just go ahead and do this. Basically, right now, I'm just getting the stuff down while we, um, while it's not actually out. And we'll just go ahead and get a second one of these anyways. Because we have a feeling we're going to need it. Okay, let's let time continue to run by. 